Okay, we're going to just try to identify as many structures as we can. Um, we'll do veins and arteries in the next one, but we're going to just do the main structures. And this is a male, right? This is a male kitty cat with non-intact balls, so we're going to have to get a different one for that one, okay? <laughs> so we have uh, the trachea up here. The top of the trachea, uh, ventral part of the trachea, is actually the uh, uh, thyroid cartilage and where it meets the um, trachea there, uh, excuse me, this is the larynx. Where the larynx meets the trachea is the cricoid cartilage. You can't see the epiglottis, that's up in there. This is the trachea, you can see those ridge marks there. That's mm -hmm. easily identifiable. Behind the trachea should be the esophagus. And you can see that because it's kind of a deflated, okay, versus this rigid trachea. Mm -hmm. Okay, down here as you come through here, you have the lungs in a, in a live cat. These are really inflated, but in this cat what we have is we have the anterior lungs, the middle, and the posterior. And I can't remember in the cat whether it's right or left, but it looks like it's the left side has uh, two posterior lungs. So you have to look that up in your book. Here is the diaphragm. Okay, once you get below the diaphragm, now you're in the abdominal cavity and you're looking at the liver. Here, this right there is the gallbladder and you have the lateral lobes on the right side are actually kind of small and they're behind here, okay? And there's an anterior and a posterior. Again, check in your book on that so that you're really clear on those. So there's an anterior and posterior lateral right um, liver, then you have the medial lobe of the right liver. Over here, you have the uh, lateral part of the liver on the left side, and you have the medial part of the liver. In the bottom, I have an odd cat because his caudate liver kind of is small. So we'll look at another one so that you can see it better. Okay, in here, you see the gallbladder and here you see the duct system so when it comes from the gallbladder you're talking about the cystic duct when it comes from the liver in the duct system then you're talking about the hepatic duct when they join together down here then it becomes common hepatic duct okay or common uh, bile duct I think is what they call it in the cat so common bile duct and that goes down in to, this is part of the du duodenum here, and this would be the ampulla of vata, okay, where the pancreas also joins it. Okay, let's look at some structures in the digestive system. I actually dissected my stomach so you, you can see inside. So we're going to look inside the stomach. There's the rugae, all the ridges in the stomach, which is kind of cool. The top of it, the stomach there is your cardiac orifice, cardiac part of the stomach, and then the shape at the top of this is the fundus, the body, and then the pylorus region. And the pylorus is the sphincter. You can barely see it, but you can see that enclosed region there that it goes from the stomach to the duodenum. Okay, so we get the stomach out of the way, and this like thing, oops, that's just some of the diaphragm, but this thing hanging out over here in all this fat, that thing right there is the spleen because it's attached to the stomach by the gastric splenic ligament, uh, ligament, okay? And there's actually a dorsal and a ventral part of that, not really easy to see in this cat. Remember when we tore away the greater omentum on top of this? Speaking of mesentery, that was a greater omentum that we tore away. This is gastric splenic. We had to tear away the lesser omentum in order to get at our um, ducts, okay? So we tore away at uh, two of the ligaments here, and I think it's hepatic um, gastro and hepato duodenal and gastro hepatic, something like that. Look it up to be sure, but um, we tore those away. Okay, now you have the duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestine. Over here, I don't have a really good view of it, but this is the pancreas, 
It's kind of messed up. It's got two parts to it. When it comes down here by the duodenum here, that is going to be the uh, duodenal part of it. And then you're going to see this part that goes over by the spleen and the gastric part of it. And right now, I'm forgetting the name of it. <laughs> but look that up. <laughs> okay. Then you'll see, okay, this is duodenum coming down here. The next thing I do is I kind of take this and I look at this fan here. Okay, when you see this big fan like that, that's the mesentery. Mesentery proper in a human, okay, it feeds the intestine. This is the intestinal artery and veins in there, okay? So get that out of the way and let's see if we can find the rectum and go from there. So here is here is the descending colon into the rectum. So from there, you can trace back and see if you can find the rest of the large intestine. Okay. See how it, it's kind of mixed up and you have to kind of play with it a little bit? Okay, there. Now, this is the colon and large intestine area. This attachment right here. See how that changes? Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the end of the small intestine. Okay? And the end of the small intestine is your ileum. Okay? So that means in here somewhere is your jejunum. Okay? So end of the small intestine is the ileum. Then the large intestine starts and this bottom kind of projecting down is the cecum. Then you would have ascending colon transverse colon, descending colon, rectum, and you won't be able to see the anus. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, you have mesenteries. We learned about the mesentery there, or mesentery proper, that feeds the small intestine. But you also have a mesentery here, the mesocolon, that feeds the, um, uh, that feeds the colon. Okay, so I had to tear it away to see some of the vessels, but um, if you have a mesentery on the large intestine, once you know where that is, that mesentery's got to be the mesenchymal. Okay. Um, let me see what else we're going to do. Oh, mesoduodenum. Okay, so that's where the where the um, pancreas is. So you have the duodenum here and you have that pancreas kind of in a mesentery down through here. So this is the mesoduodenum. Again, we had to rip it away to see a lot of our, our um, veins. Okay, so let's get that up out of the way and let's move our thing over. Okay, so easily to distinguish, we've got our kidneys, okay? Kidneys from the kidney. Oh, here's the hilum of the kidney, okay? Um, this is covered with a renal capsule, and this is not. I took that off of this one, okay? Um, one of them is more anterior than the other. It's different in a human. In a human, your um, left side is higher than the right because on the right you have the uh, on your liver. so that